Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> Great guys, it's so nice to be back with another video. Glad, glad I had some time to make one. Um, yes, so today I'm just going to have a look at two mods. How to um, set up some mods uh, into your map and how to get them to work, especially ones that has got some functionality like doors and, 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 and um, roller doors and lights and all that kind of stuff you know now there's been a lot of guys asking me about this and i mean i've made some videos in the past how to uh, put a mod into your map as a placeable and it seems like uh, i don't know if guys that just don't watch them <laughs> and don't follow them and then got get lost in the process or something but anyway i'm going to try my best to to remake uh, or to make a, the same thing again and maybe share some more info but if this is your first time here on my channel a warm welcome to you remember to hit the like and the subscribe the subscribe is much more important <laughs> to me as you can see my channel is tiny <laughs> but we're getting there guys slowly but surely but anyways so let's get stuck in so what i've done uh, i've got two uh, downloads the millionaire's house has popped up a few times with guys that really like this personally i think it's a not a very good mod it 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 somehow looks good. I remember when it came out. Yo, it was just a little bit after um, um, FS22 was launched, and I, when I saw it for the first time, there's a lot of stuff in the mod that I don't really like. You know, um, uh, the, I personally think there's many many other houses that are better. You know, but anyway, I suppose for some guys this is nice. Um, for me, it doesn't. But anyway, I'm going to use this as one of the examples. And then I've also downloaded this Big Machines Hall, which has got some nice um, functionality into it, you know. So let's do both of those into a map, and then we will um, hopefully get some stuff going, you know. So first of all, in my mods folder, I need to just drop a, a, um, a map in here. Oh, I see I've got No Man's Land in here. I had a look at the grass textures for another guy on this map because I can't recall what grass he used, but it turns out it was only normal meadow. <laughs> Nothing fancy. But anyway, let's get stuck. And I'm going to use No Man's Land for that uh, and put both those things into No Man's Land, you know. So the very first you want, uh, thing you want to do is check your downloads. Um, so I've already got this out i just want to see if i can undo that yeah here we go so that's the two downloads there i'm going to drop them into my mods folder always always test the things before you try and build it into your map i've said that 200 times but i suppose uh, if 201st time will be good <laughs> so there's it in there uh as well as the where is it now the big hall all right so first of all i just want to see if the guys have what what names they've got for it in here so it's big alls uh, big all machines and i must actually not open the mod desk i must open the actual xml so we can see where it's placed it's in sheds and um yeah it's just under sheds all right so the big all is under sheds and the house should be under under the houses you know so but just verify because sometimes you open a, a mod and the guy has put the put the, the placeable in some weird destination and you can't find it in your map and eventually you think oh my word it, it's not there you know so it's under placeables and it's under farmhouse categories okay so that is all perfect all right so let's quickly run into the game and see if these things actually work in the game that's the very first thing because i mean it's no point trying to build something into your map and it doesn't work you know that's just a waste of your time and um so very first thing let's go into the map find um no man's land continue start and i forgot now to check if the mod shows up there that's now the first thing that you need to do is just verify that the actual mod is in there but i suppose we can just quickly run through it on top just wait for no man's land to actually open it's actually a small map no man's land there's nothing really in the map you know um it's got very little limited stuff so it shouldn't take too long to load all right so let us have a look just as soon as this thing reaches like 100 percent we can quickly just scroll up i like to 
verify that the things actually load and you can see that here in your log, fo uh, log file or your the game log if you want to call it or the thing that two errors is part of the game now right on top here it should say um, a little bit higher let's have a look here we go available mods uh, register Um, I can't see it now. I don't have uh, many many mods available. That's why it's so easy to miss it. Anyway, let's just not waste more time. Jump in, close it up, and then now we can uh, go into P. Sorry, I'm pressing the wrong buttons all the time. In here, construction, and then under sheds, right at the end, we should have big machines hall. I'm sure that's the one there big machines hall it's a mod yes that's the only mod i have so that is definitely it and if you look at that um, i should be able to place it somewhere i'm just going to drop it down there and then let us uh, see where i've placed it there it is okay so it definitely shows up in the game and you can see from um just looking at it it's all white I don't know why it's white but let's suppose it's all, it's all right and we see the doors are working oh my word what's all this stuff the up and down controller I don't see there is some lights up there so there should be a, a place so let's just have F1 um, normally if you if you hit F1 you can see the triggers if they um, if there is actually some triggers for it so I suppose it's possible that these lights are time controlled and it will work at night and not during the day you know so that is normally um, the case with these things you know or some of them not all of them close gate open gate so it's got triggers there so it is working um, we are happy with that and I would love to just see now if I can quickly put the time scales on extra time scales yes and then it as quickly just forward until night and these things are are very important guys oh that was a way way too fast my word okay okay i think we're there and these things doesn't have lights okay so the lights on this is i don't see a trigger for it let just just go out again to daylight here we go right so let us have a look now press f5 um, and see what have we missed ah here's the light switch guys why didn't you tell me i'm as blind as a bat i walked past the pole i didn't realize it <laughs> you press f5 four times again if you want to uh, if you want to uh, um, get out of that thing okay so the light is working everything is working as it should all right so that is uh, um, a good thing so to add some bucks here for for the other thing that we want to buy the millionaire's house and then i want to run out and maybe just paste it in there so let us have a browse the construction uh farm houses here we go and right at the end we, we do have enough money i believe overlaps another object Bloop. now i remember when this thing came out um it did have a lot of um problems in it um and yeah the, the first thing was the 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 the, f the weird funky music playing i remember that you could get quite la um, sad with that but it it does does look i can't remember if it's different or if it's better or not but what i want to see is um a little bit of triggers yes there's a door opening that is good i'm getting stuck in the doorway sleep trigger there it's definitely there and we've got a tree in the middle of the house okay so it does look like triggers and stuff is working guys and then let's just press aria on the bed sleep trigger everything is working so I'm sure everything should be fine. And now that we've verified 
that the mod is working you should be um, in a better spot to have a working thing in your map all right so i'm going to close up there close up there and then open this up and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab both these things um, out of my mods folder remember to to take them out of your mod folder folder if you've built it into your map you can't leave it in there where's this other thing that's the house and the big hall control x so i'll just remove them out there and let us go into my downloads again paste it in here i've already uh, unzipped the big hall so i'm going to do the millionaire's house so right click go into win roar and just extract whatever way you choose to extract it's fine so grab both the unzipped mods cut them out go into your map folder i'm using no man's land as you can see placeables just drop them into placeables just like that and rename the folders uh, to something um, more decent than the normal stuff so that's the one so big machines hall and then that one is millionaire's house all right now the let's do one at a time i'm going to open the map first um maps and then i3d good 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 so here we go right so i don't know why we get started under the map all right so first of all find a spot that is good i think maybe um i want to start off by putting it on the on the um placeables maps where's the farmland so i want to make sure which f farmland is the default one is there a default one there you go it's 26 so farmland 26 is the default one so i want to just because i don't know the map guys i just want to make sure that i drop it in the right spot on the farm you know so we're going to go in here to farmland 26 uh just see where 26 is okay so it's this area here um so gonna quickly see up to where okay up to that rocks the uh, okay makes sense okay so anything here will be good there is some nice spots here just want to verify yes i'm going to just use this area here okay so that we don't end up having stuff on the on the on the wrong spot you know good so first of all let's import file import uh placeables so we want to go into no man's land placeables big machines or let's do that one first big machine hall and you can obviously now um, create a folder i uh, wonder if there is one on the map i'm not sure transform group let's just make one there and call it uh, placeholders oh i need to learn how to spell guys sorry placeholders like that all right and then click on that go into here into script callback and type in the on create like that with a capital C click add and then in the script you type place holders uh, with a capital P dot on create just like that guys and then there it is all right so now we've created a folder that will be ignored by the game so whatever we dropped in here will not be used in game so there you go so we put our uh, mod in there first of all and then paste it where you want it to be just like that all right rotate it and swing it around and do the all the normal stuff that you want to do for it so i'm just going to put it here next to the road so that's our big all done believe it or not now for the next one uh, i wonder if we should do both at once Hmm. let's do the other one too so file import and then placeables uh, millionaire's house and then house all right so there we go close the big hole drop that into the placeholders like that farmhouse control b and there you go 
I'm, I'm, I'm on a spot here where the terrain is not really level, so I think maybe, maybe I should just quickly level the terrain a bit. So uh, this radius is terribly big, way too big for what we need to do. Maybe like so. I'm just going to grab a level here by pressing Control R, and then set my right mouse button to replace and then I'm just going to level the area here a little bit like so so we have a better spot here to put the house on and the big goal so control B just again to place the um, the actual building oops that's the wrong fly out yeah what is visible here show uh, physics uh, show navigation meshes we don't want that dynamics why farm has got a lot of stuff showing I can't even see my circles my gizmo there it is okay so there you go it's just remove some foliage here to make it look better okay like so all right so that is placed and now the same thing for the shed or the big hall control b just to put it down on the ground again and let's just remove some foliage next to it as well so now we've placed both buildings and um, that farmhouse is a bit skewed still just want to align it with this type of a road thing going through there now that we have both in there, we are actually done in the map. There's nothing more in the map to do. So we're going to save the map like so. And what I want to do now is uh, just go back into the game. And now I've shot myself with the foot. Um, I've opened the game already. <laughs> and I forgot I can't place the mods. Because this is a, a crucial part of getting the mod into your map is to... Um, actually we should have start here from this to control x drop them back in here control v and luckily we've unzipped them into no man's land so they won't be part of the map anymore or part of the game until we open no man's land so that's all right okay so this is actually where we should start is when you test your map somewhere place it and save the game that's all we want so that we can have a i'm just going to start the elm creek map don't want to start no man's land now because um, it's already a placeable folder in no man's land and I've already placed the two buildings but mind you it's in my new placeholders folder so it sh shouldn't have made a difference at all <laughs> good man guys so I hope you're keeping up um, I, um, sometimes I go fast other times slow but yeah we just carry on and see how far we can get this to work and remember guys when you place a farmhouse for a default farmhouse on form one you cannot have more than one house so if you if you have an extra house on form one in your placeables folder it, it will never work the, the mod won't work it won't be available and you'll probably have an error in the map you know so I don't know what happens there I've gone out okay so now first of all we want to go into here into construction farmhouses and then uh, uh, here we go I'm going to select this farmhouse sell it yes you see so you can't have more than one farmhouse so all I want to do now obviously is get some money I'm definitely gonna need a lot of bucks because that house is fairly expensive my word a million bucks uh, is a lot of money for a house anyways I suppose I suppose it's not that much if you think if it's a millionaire's house you know so here we go we plant that on the field and then back into sheds right at the end we have our uh, machines hall like so so now we have both in the game save the map so this is a very crucial um, part of getting it into the game and I'll show you now why um, it's important to have a save game with, with the, the mod that you want to place in there. 
all right so we're going to go now into another folder and you're going to go into your forming similar 22 directory under documents my games forming similar 22 and go into your save game whichever one you used and find the placeables scroll right down to the bottom and you will find the placeable that you've placed there's the billionaire's house and there's the hall so now i've got everything done for me set up with all the right things so all I want to do is just select that and don't make the mistake of copying that last placeables because that's not part of the placeables guys so do not copy that and um, it's going to cause an error in your placeables.xml if you do paste that in there so just do the placeables let me just first explain to you if you click on the placeable it will show you the start of the placeable that you are busy with the millionaire's house and it will show you the end of it in purple so that is one placeable this is the next one so if you look at this it's not part of any placeable it's an actual placeable of the whole placeables xml so there's the start of it and the end of it is that very last line that's placeable that's the end that slash slash there um, the forward slash means it's the end of it you see the the first the start doesn't have the slash but the end has the slash so don't make a mistake and copy that I'm just sharing that because a lot of guys have has messaged me and uh, um, emailed me. Oh, it doesn't work. And then they send me the, the uh, placeable XML and I realize they've copied that little placeable <laughs> as well in the lots of errors. Okay, so here we go. Control C and we are done in that. And we can now come back to our map. So now what we want to do is go into our map go into our placeables folder or the placeables.xml and there you can see the last placeable so do not paste it underneath that because a lot of guys then paste stuff in here and then they still have a problem because this is the end of placeable so if you put something underneath that it will also not work you know so you have to make some space here and put your stuff above the last placeable this is the last one so you can't put underneath it Alright, so there you go. Control V, drop it in there. Now we're going to modify. Let's first do the millionaire's house. So the mod name we're going to take out. You don't need that. We want to start our placeable by deleting that and then having our directory. The ID you can take out. You don't need that at all. And the age and price. We don't need that at all. Default form property. If it's on form 1 or any other form that is set up, you can copy that and paste it in here before um, form ID 1. After it, it's also all right. Just make sure you have spaces in front and behind. Just like that. It's fine. All right. So now the next thing to do is if you set up a form another f on another form than the default form, make this number 2 and then default form property false. But since we are doing it on the default form, we're going to do uh, and leave it just as is all right so let's quickly just fix this one as well and remove the mod name just like that the id we can remove it and then also the rotation the age and price we can remove it just like so and then just before that control v and have that in there all right so here we go the default form is very important because what happens is if you start in new former mode this actually becomes um, very important it will load all the default equipment vehicles uh, um, structures whatever has got default form property connected to it and it will load your farmland everything like that um, and you will have all that in uh, um, new farmer mode but if you start in um, start from scratch mode the second or the third mode in the game this will also come into play and then it will ignore the ones that has default form property so it won't load those so it's very important to have that key in there okay so next things up here we want to fix the directory up to the house xml because now it's not a mod anymore all right so we're going to change the modder to map there okay so that's the first thing we're going to do map there uh, is dollar map there dollar put a forward slash there very important don't miss the forward slash guys 
also uh, another reason why a lot of guys placeables is not working they didn't put that forward slash in there between the map there and the thing all right and now we're going to go into that map folder i just want to close that save game one thing i'm above so no man's land and then placeables and then um, we are doing the billionaire's house first so let's go in there and there you see the xml all right so very important to copy now if you click here on this little um, navigation bar it will highlight the whole directory for you now all you need is from the f map name so your map name everything behind that from your map name you will copy control c come in here drop it in there like so overwrite okay and all the forward slashes uh, backslashes you make forward slashes so wherever there's a a, a, a a backslash you make it a forward slash like that so now we have the map directory let's just verify that we have the map directory then placeables and then millionaire's house and then the xml so we can verify we've got the map directory then we have placeables millionaire's house and then the xml so our directory is correct we don't will not have a problem with that okay so that's how you how you make sure your directory is correct and you check it on this side and all is well now we need to also fix the xml itself so we're going to open the house.xml because remember we've changed the uh, the the mod now from a mod to a placeable so the, the xml directory structure will also be wrong in, and here it is house i3d is no longer in the root of 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 the actual mod because it's now not a mod anymore it's now somewhere in the map folder so we have to root the house i3d the same way that we did the xml so we're going to go to our placeable and then just copy this directory tree here control and c copy it go to your xml and drop it in there before the house uh, i3d so once again the same thing we've got no man's land which is the the start the file uh, start of the file name and then placeable millionaire's house and then the r3d so there it is placeable millionaire's house and then the r3d so now we know that this is correct all right so the r3d is sorted the next thing to check is the image got the same problem with the image so we can just fix that up as well so the image placeable millionaire's house store icon okay and now you need to run through the whole of the house.xml and make sure that there's no um, directories anywhere because there might be sound uh, especially here by your animated objects there might be things that are got directories to it that needs to be uh, rerouted i just want to see where is sound if there is any sound because sometimes they are sound sometimes they are not animated objects triggers i don't see door sound.org uh, file door sound ogg i just want to see if this is in our mods folder yeah you see sound door sound.org so it is in the in the mods folder there or, or, or the placeable it's now not a mod anymore so it will find that but we will get the error in game if there is a, a problem so i just want to see what else is there fire music and waterfall all right so we want to make sure that um we have these sounds so i'm going to go copy this sound control f and control v and find it so there's nothing in the house.xml that roots to fire okay so we are s fairly sure of that and the next thing is music control c so now overwrite that control v music so there's no music that is good and then lastly waterfall so i don't know what these things do but i know the music obviously is when you walk into the proximity of the house then boop, the music comes on um but i remember seeing this mod when it came out maybe it was in fs19 i could really remember but it it actually looks much better now so the version that i've downloaded is a very nice looking house and i remember there was some horrible music playing in the first and there was some some um 
the guy had his mod um, logo on places and yeah but it's much better now I must be honest uh, I, I actually kind of like it now it's much better um, anyway so there, there you go so that is all our sound quickies checked and directory so now you save the house XML I'm going to leave it here just in case we need to fix something else okay so we've done the we've done the um, the i3d we've done the house and just to make sure let's just open the i3d with notepad and then also just verify textures house now the i3d guys to be to show you how the i3d works where your i3d is located it's in the millennia's house directory so where it is located it will work directly directly from this directory it won't work from the map folder it works from where the i3d is so what you see here textures house will be here textures and then house you see uh, house textures so so that is how your um, i3d uh, checks for directories or uses its directories so these it sounds everything so these sounds and stuff is actually built into the i3d so we don't have to worry about anymore now the last thing to check on the placeable is the actual mod desk file this is very important guys um, the mod desk has got um, a lot of info that sometimes are needed for the mod so I don't see anything here that is needed for the mod to work um, as a placeable um, the store items we're going to have to add that so we will definitely just grab that line um, actually we'll grab the one from our placeable so let us do that now so we go into your maps mod disk open your maps mod disk and then have a look there should be a store item section if you don't have a store item section you can uh, copy and paste the store item start and end from your uh, store items xml copy that start and end and put your store items in your mod disk don't put them in the in the um, store items um, xml because that thing doesn't work uh, it gives errors I've, I've seen it it's much better having it in your mod disk okay so we need to add a line for the for the um, house so control C I'm gonna grab the last line that's in my store items control C and double control V and will duplicate the line for you I'm gonna actually just make one more because we got another uh, placeable to add to now for the XML we need to in the in the mod disk I uh, can close this one from the mod close that but in our mod disk XML we need to have a line pointing to the actual XML of the mod so we're gonna go back to our placeable uh, placeables of XML and then from um, oh this is the save game you see how quickly you get confused so um, I just want to close this up I was gonna say where is the changes that I've made <laughs> my word all right placeable millionaire's house XML so you copy the whole line from your map there just after the map there copy this whole line Control C, do not put the map there in there, nothing in front, go into your store items and then overwrite the whole thing in between the inverted commas so that you have placeables, millionaire's house, the same thing, just showing what the store items is, guys, if I can explain to you that, if you look at the house.xml, right on top of your mods XML, it's got store data so that's all it is it's telling the game that you have a placeable with store data that should be showed in the store now you can see here it can be sold show in store so it is two keys that tells them the actual game when it loads this um, mod disk of ours that this is store data and this mod needs to be showed there or not showed there you can say here true and false as you want and just make sure um, make sure that it uh, um, is working once we're all done and check everything all right so here we go so that is now the placeable house all done and we're going to go back into our placeables and now do the machine hall so the same drill with that one i'm going to grab the 
map there there control c and change it here uh, big machine hall i'm just going to paste it up to there because we're going to change it anyway all right so in our directory tree we want to go to placeables big machine hall and then see there's our i3d and there's our xml for the for the i3d all right so once again click up there and then after your map folder copy everything after control c i do copy and paste these things because if you type them guys and you make one tiny mistake like uh, put a, a small m where there should be a capital m for instance it's not going to work you're going to have an error so that's why i copy and paste guys it's so much simpler to copy and paste then you know your spelling is correct and you don't have a problem so there you go so it's a map there placeables big machine hall and big hall all right so here we go let's just verify that uh, in our actual um, map directory so it's map placeables big hall and there's our big hall xml okay so that is all done and dusted so now we open this xml once again and we need to go through the same routine um, back into placeable let's just copy this now control c Oh, mind you, I want the forward slash as well. So do copy the forward slash because it saves you time. <laughs> okay. So back in there. Let's start from the top. Um, the image. Control V. So we have now it pointing to the right image. And then obviously here. Control V. And I'm going to show you another trick here, guys. If you place this thing on, um, on other forms. The house as well as this um, big hall. You want to go and add some keys here to your base. So I'm going to show you on the big hall um, just how to do that. So we're going to open another tab. Go into Forming Simulator 22. Go to Data. Go to uh, Placeables. Use the map US uh, map. And then into Form Buildings and into Form Barn. I'm just no using one that I know has got the right key. So Form Barn 02 has got the right key for that. And you can see here, bought with farmland true. That is a very important key, especially if you put the placeable on another farm or uh, something outside of the default farm property. So you want to grab that and put it in here under the base file. In fact, this base file doesn't have um, have the, all the keys in it. So press home, paste it in there, and then also can be renamed true does it you can add it in there it's not really a biggie for me but you can add it in there all right bought with farmland so that when when you have a um a building or a um a uh, horse stable or a husbandry or something like that and you don't own the farmland the icon will not show up until you buy the farm you know and a lot of cases um, on other farms you need this key for it to work if you don't put this key in your for some reason um, the game doesn't show uh, um, it, the actual whole placeable does not show up in game if you don't put that key in there so very important I'm just going to do it on the f on the big hall it's not important for the house at the moment because they both are not important really because they are both in the form a default property okay so now that we have the big hall I'm not finished there just want to quickly run through everything here and see if there's not any other things there's nothing in there but it's not really important because it's going to give you an error if it can't find a file so um, don't worry too much about it if it doesn't find a sound file or anything if there's something missing it will we will error will pop up pop up in game all right so let us quickly finish up so we've got our directory fixed we've got our position and rotation that is all derived now from the saved game if you've changed or moved any of these um mind you i have sorry guys i have so we have to we have to start with the farmhouse grab the uh, the translate x and y and z Control shift c Control shift and c together we'll copy all three come back here into the farmhouse override that control and v just like that all right and the same with the rotation control shift c and then override all of that control and v to override 
and let's do the same with the big hole I almost forgot about that guys it could have been really sad control shift C copy the translations and then override it here control V and the same there with the rotation control C control shift C not just control C and then override that control and V okay now because we have put a another form house on default form and ID 1 we need to go and find the actual form house um, form building and there it is uh, form buildings form building this is um, if you if you look at this form building I'm sure it is the German um, uh, the French map uh, if we have a look placeables it is let's just open it in no man's land so placeables uh, form buildings and then form building I'm sure this is the the French map form house I'll recognize it if I see it no it's not it's this little wood building okay so we know now that we um, for some reason they call it farm building it's just the s same wording all right so it doesn't really matter we need to remove that from the game you can't have two farm houses on default farm property <coughs> it will not allow it and one of your houses won't show and will probably be the second one this one here so now we have only one on default farm property which is good so that's one thing that you have to check for when you do it this way all right so the last thing to do now is the big hole the mod disk for the big hole so we want to just grab this line once again from our map directory right to the end this time control c into our mod disk and just override this little piece here control v now in the uh, in the store items here if you put something in the default game you need to have the dollar in front but if you're in the placeables and you go to the in-game folders like here you don't need the dollar so that's just another thing that's very important that guys forget you need the dollar in the placeable but in the mod desk under store items you don't need the dollar yeah don't ask me why but it's just as it is okay so that is all done so let's save that let's save this and then lastly we need to check the big all directory for the mod desk of the big all so it's placeables big hall machines mod desk here we go <clears throat> now if there was anything I, I see this big hall has got nothing in it but a lot of uh, uh, mods has got 110 or L10 in um, stuff that makes things work like open and close doors and lights and, and that so all you will do is go into your mod desk you create a a L10N start and end and you put stuff in between or everything that's there there you go like this here um, it's all stuff that needs is needed for the actual mod to work so if in your uh, placeables mod desk there is any L110 stuff copy that whole directory for the L L10N and put it in your actual maps mod disk so all you're doing is you're transferring it from the the actual mods mod disk to your maps mod disk so that it also loads in in the start and once you've done that you need to delete the two mod disks of the placeable because you can have only one mod disk in your map all right so in my case i'm going to delete this and also the one for the house delete that remember you can only have one mod disk in your map folder and that is your maps mod disk so whatever stuff that is in your uh, placeable or your mods um, mod disk file needs to be put into your maps mod disk so you just transfer it over so you copy the whole uh, 10n uh, l10n directory with everything in it you copy in here but do me a favor guys do not have two of them okay so if you already have you have to put the stuff inside of it like these things uh, the text start and end you have to put that inside your 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 uh, l10n directory if um, if you don't have a l10n in your mod desk then you copy everything the whole l10 start to finish like there there's the end of it 
but do not put another Alten underneath that. So um, that's also a big mistake guys do. And once again, this is the end of the mod desk. Don't paste anything underneath there. It all needs to be in here, in its own little, um, own little directory tree, you can call it. All right, so there it is. It's got all these little things for cell points and whatever, closed doors, open doors, and that's stuff that makes things work. So if that's not in there, if your mod has something in there, it needs to be in your mod desk for the mod to work. All right, so there you go, guys. So now everything is built into the map. We can save our map. And then um, did I do the hall? I think I did the hall. Let me just verify the big hall. Control Shift C. It's 8500 295. So let's just go into our placeables. I think I've missed that. 8500 180 9 179 or 180. So let's just go back in there. No, I've done I've done that. Alright, so just to be safe, verify that. So now that we've done all of that, we can close the map. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. And finally, let's quickly just test it in Farming Simulator. Let's have a look. Oh, I forgot again. You cannot have the mods in your mod folder as well as loaded in game it will definitely cause issues so now remember i copied it back into um, the mods folder so once again i need to remove them here big call all right so don't have them in there and load them in the map because you're going to have two mod desks running that same mod it can definitely cause issues so don't put the mod in there if you've built it into your map you know so be careful with that too guys and that goes for any other map that you load into your mods folder that has got the same mod uh, that you have in your mods folder already. It will definitely cause problems. You know, so just be careful with those things. So this save game I can delete because we're not going to use it. So let's go in there, new farmer mode and go into no man's land. And now we should have on our property a house. Not that little house anymore, but our own house. And I forgot to press the tilde key to bring up our log. If you don't, oh, there you go. There was some errors there. So we're going to have to have a quick look at that errors, what they were, once it's loaded. Scroll up with page up. You see the, it can't find the door sounds. Okay, so that's fine. Could not load marker config file, uh, no, marker icons. So in the house XML, we can already see we have some problems with marker icons as well as the sounds. So that's all. It's just marker icons and sounds. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> There's nothing more to to uh, to fix. All right. So our big all uh, didn't really um, give any issues. So I'm going to take that away. And now let us just jump in there and visit the house. And it is working. Test the doors. I'm, I'm a bit too close to the door trigger. So everything is working, guys. The sound is working. It's playing. Right. And I remember, I, I didn't take the gro ground out for the pool. So that's why the pool is green. <laughs> this guy didn't clean his pool for many years, guys. It's all green. <laughs> okay, so um, that is now just to show you that the house is working. Let's just run upstairs and check the bed because the bed is important. That's your sleep trigger. Oh, it doesn't have that bed trigger. And that's probably the little thing, um, the icon that it can't find. So press R. It, the trigger is working, but it's just um, just not, um, not doing its thingamabob. All right. Let's just run outside. Uh, oh, yeah. We want to quickly check the form machine hall thing. I'm a Bobby. If I can get out here. I must say this house is looking much better than uh, the previous version that I saw. The first version of it. Um, I sh there's the machine hall. For a moment there I was thinking, where is it gone? It should be here, but it's not. And here's a tree hanging in the air because we took all the ground underneath it. Doors are working. Door sounds are working. 
and this time we won't be fooled by the light switch and press R to toggle it and there you go so our, our machine all is perfect it's just the farm uh, the farmhouse that needs tweaking right guys so that is a fairly easy and simple fix so let's just go out the game and if you don't have your log if you press your tilde key if you don't know what the tilde key is it, there's a little sine wave next to your one key on the top keypad so uh, navigate to your escape key top left and then right underneath that there's a little wave sound that is your tilde key so if you press that once it will bring the menu up if you press it again it will give you the cursor to type and if you press it again it will close it all right so if you don't have that i'll just quickly want to show you where to get it while we're here so go into your um, farming simulator 22 directory the one in your save game here go right down where, uh, where your documents my games farming simulator where your save games is open the game.xml file um, the game.xml scroll right to the bottom at develop and controls if it's false there you make it true and save it and there you are you will have the controls for that all right so let's quickly have a look at those errors um, easy as pie we open the game log which you can find in the same directory it's the log file here and that's your error log for the game so now we can in our own time and space um, just navigate down to the errors and we're going to have a quick browse okay this two errors is part of the game so don't worry about fixing them you can't fix them it's part of the game um, every ga every um, error log that you open will have those two in it okay so let's get to the first one it cannot find the door sound dot ogg so in our no man's land um, our house dot i3d <coughs> is the one so it loaded the house dot i3d and then it gave the error <coughs> sorry guys i've got something in my throat now suddenly and it can't find the door sound so let us just have a look why the door sound dot ogg is not in there so uh back to our mod uh no man's land placeables um millionaire's house house dot i3d that's the one open that up and i'm sure we've checked this sound right so that is there wait a second that was not it it was um it wasn't that it was um door sound it's just the door sound dot ogg but it is there there it is door sound all right so it's very simple guys <coughs> this sound is not mentioned in the in the um, i3d it's mentioned in the xml so we have to open the house.xml file all right so that will be the house.xml here it is and we need to just go to the lock let's just copy that Control c double click the door sound name Control c go to house Control f Control v and then you can search for it from the top okay so that is the only thing we need to fix there very simple and easy because door sound that ogg now needs the whole directory because it's now not a mod anymore so what we're going to do is just grab this directory for the house just like that with the forward slash so from your map everything in front Control c because remember now the door sound is now not in the root anymore it's now in your map so we need to reroute all the door sounds to there so um, what I'm going to do now is go into the house R3D we can close uh, the house XML we want okay so what we want to do is change all the door sounds and there's a lot guys so I'm not going to do all of them I'm going to just um, search for and replace so what we're going to do is drop in there control V and then door sound dot OGG uh, OGG like that and we're going to replace that with control C that control V door sound dot OGG so door sound so we're going to add that in front of the door sound so that's got the, the complete directory to the actual sound file so we're going to click replace all like that 
and there you go guys easy as pie so all those errors in the log all these ones are now fixed and then it says fail to open uh, marker icons.xml uh, no man's land marker icons I'll need to find out where this marker icons is. Marker, marker icons. Oh, wait a second. This is not part of our mod. It is something in the map. No, no, no. It is part of the mod. It's house.xml once again. So let's copy this. Marker icons. Control C. Go back to house.xml. Uh, go to find. Control V and find so how many are there it's just a two all right so the same thing here guys um, we just need to have this um, directory just copy it Control C uh, Control V just like that and then here just like that so it's placeables millionaires house marker marker icons all right so it is placeables millionaires house marker and then marker icons okay man there you go all done and dusted guys so save the house xml that we've changed and all should be well we've already tested everything um, i've saved everything so we can quickly run a test again just to make sure it's working last test guys it should all be well now no man's land there you go and open the tilde key so we can see if there's any red things going by there should be one red one yellow which is standard for all games um, and it looks like we still have an i3d error there so i'm just going to have a quick browse there what it's complaining about there's some i3d was still something millionaire's house i3d marker on uh, my word yeah okay <laughs> okay 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 i've got it Aish, okay so let's just quit again quick now remember the marker uh, xml which we've just fixed this one now has an i3d as well that we need to fix so there it is so the marker I, I xml this one has an i3d as well there it is so we have to open this and fix its directory as well so that it goes placeables millionaire's house marker marker icons at i3d my word uh, why the guy didn't just put this i3d into his uh, map i3d i just don't know but any or not the map i3d but the mod i3d so anyway there it is it should now be all fine and no more errors sleeping and wardrobe so that's the two icons that we will find in the house so we, we we know where the we know where the sleeping um, trigger is so it's simple and easy to find that one you know right so lastly but le not least let's give it a, a, a quick eyelash <laughs> see what it's looking like now good stuff start good confirm no more errors and now we should see our house uh, visit and then run upstairs and we should have the icons now because there's no more errors easy peasy and there it is guys okay so that's an icon they were complaining about and somewhere here should be a wardrobe i can only suppose that it might be um, in a dressing room or somewhere it should be a wardrobe icon i'm not too sure where that is but i know it is there as i saw it um, this is the shower i i would i would suppose that it would have been in there because oh there it is you see it's not in that one it's in this one if you press r here yeah, you can get to the wardrobe <laughs> oh my gosh I'm stuck in the door. I don't know why they make these doors so small. My word, guys. If you build a mod, guys, take your mod. Um, the, in every mod program like 
blender for instance you've got a little man that you can import to give you scale of things you know and make the things bigger your doors and your things you know because it's difficult if you have things that's too small and and, and your little man box that you walk around in doesn't fit through the things properly but anyway here we go guys that's how you put a mod into your game and fix all the little bugs that goes with it i hope that this um two things that we've done in this um video has helped you um it surely has been a lot of fun for me and uh I'll catch you on the next one guys remember to like and subscribe and do share my stuff i appreciate guys and i do have a full map making course on my patreon from start to finish if you're interested remember to jump on my patreon you'll find the links there and um, if you new into the map making scene it's like for beginners for pros for whoever wants to make a map from start right to the finishing product where you can play the map in game okay take care guys catch you on the next one cheers